I'm here with this quick little video on COVID-19 beauty secrets. So this is some stuff that um, either I had or I actually saw a video with Patsy Smith, I think that's her name, Emmett Smith's wife, she did a, a beauty secrets video and um, I thought that was interesting. So I thought I'd share it with you guys some of the things that I got, um, a few things. One thing that I got um, that she, she suggested, um, I already had one. I already had the one that she suggested, which was, this is called a Flawless. And what it is, is for hair removal. It comes with a battery, has a little light on it. And what you do, you get little, little hairs around here. Some of y'all ain't been able to get these waxes done. You just go right on with this. Get your mustache. But I will say, this is more for fine hair. Um, I have a few that are that are more coarse, more ha hairs that are more coarse down here. And so what I do is, um, I just go ahead and pluck those out. But I use this for the hair around the top of my lip, which is minimal, but I still don't like it. It makes me look like you got a little, little shadow up here. So I get that off, you know? So this is called a Flawless, and you can get this at CVS. But this one, I got this one, and it's new, and it's a smaller um, smaller brush head. So you can use this one for your brows. You just take it, and when you turn it on, you just kind of do this here. Clean up your brows, you know. Um, I also use those little, the, the shavers that kind of clean up your brows. I use those too, um, you know, just to kind of, Keep yourself groomed, all right? If you can't get in there, well, most of us can't get in and we're looking like bears these days, so we gotta keep things together, right? Right? Okay, another thing that um, she suggested was press on nails. You guys, press on nails have come a long way. Oh my gosh, they're so bomb. Um, I got these. Mine are by Kiss, and they're acrylic nude. I kind of like to keep a, uh, a clean look on my hands and feet. Um, I even used the thumbnails on my toenail, because I like my feet to look, you know, a certain way. So I had to take that polish off and it grown out. I got caught with my nails and with my feet. I got caught, I was supposed to go to the nail shop that Thursday and I got caught up with my mom and dad doing something and missed my appointment. So, I didn't get to get my nails and feet done. And so, um, yeah, I was messed up. So I had to get the gel off. I got a nail file, filed the gel off. Um, and then I popped my press on. On. Now these are not press-ons. Um, I have a young lady that goes to our church that does, um, she's a student and doing nails and so um, I had her come over. We set up in the garage and, and she did nails for Morgan and I, but press-ons. I had the press-ons before I got these done. Amazing. Amazing. They have different colors, different shapes, different styles, all that kind of stuff. Another thing I got caught without, I don't know, um, I got caught without perfume. I didn't have samples or anything, so I ordered this perfume off of Amazon, guys. And this is the Valentino um, Pink. I think it's called Valentino Pink. It's by Valentino for sure, but I think it's called Pink. And um, it has such a light and sweet, I like sweet fragrances. So it's a good fragrance, but you can get whatever fragrance you you fancy. Get that on Amazon if you need to, as well as any other product that you need to get. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I ordered some lashes because I feel like brows, I, I mean, you know, it's okay to have a clean face and, and, you know, you don't wear a lot of makeup and all that kind of stuff, but if you keep your brows done, Frame nicely, shape nicely, and get you a nice lash. Put, even if you have good lashes, put some mascara on. But it's a good time 
for you all who are walking around with three and four individual lashes on your eye. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. It don't look good. It don't look good. Take them off. If you have to yank them off, I mean, you, you know, I don't suggest it, but you may have to. Get those off some kind of way. Get them off. Get you a strip of lashes. I mean, come on. You can get strips anywhere. CVS, Walmart, Target. I happen to get these from Sephora. I happen to like to purchase um, the more expensive lashes only because they last forever. I can get at least like 15, sometimes 20 um, wears out of these lashes. I just wash them. I um, wash them with my face cleanser. Make sure I rinse them really good um, with the little spoolie brush. I brush them out, wash them, and then put them over a paper towel. Let them dry overnight, and they're good as new. Um, you, sometimes you may have to peel a little bit of the glue off the lash band, but I use um, the Duo glue, and what I do is I use the one with the wand. And the wand, what happens is you can put the wand on, line your lid like you're using eyeliner on the top of your lid, and then you put a little lash glue on the lash band itself and let it get a little bit tacky. And then you take your tweezers or your fingers, whichever you're comfortable with, and just pop them on, right? Put them right in the middle, start in the middle. And there are tons of videos here on YouTube that you can learn how to put on lashes, but I find it easier to use a tweezer. Um, some people find it easier to use their fingers. But find you a video, practice, practice, practice. We have all the time in the world, so it doesn't mean you're not going nowhere. So just practice right now, um, attaching strip lashes because this way you won't be pulling out your lashes with those individual ones. For me, I found that the individuals kind of sat heavy on my lash or just when they fell out, sometimes my lash might be attached to it. They were much more thin than, than wearing strips. So I choose to wear strips and I let, um, for you know, day to day, I kind of just put on a coat of mascara and let my lashes breathe and let them grow and get healthy. And then when I'm going somewhere, I just pop on strips. But if you have a nice brow and strips and some gloss, you're good to go. Your little press-ons, you know, get you a little girlfriend. I got mine covered up. But hey, um, some people don't like those, the wiggy look. It's a different feel, you know. I, I'm a wig maker, and it took me a, t a while to get into wearing wigs, okay, um, to get okay. But look, I got my little cap on top of my wig. You can use a scarf. I got a scarf here where you can, I'm gonna do it over this hat. But you can tie this here. Use your imagination. Imagine I don't have my um, my hat on under here. Tie a knot. Bam. Knot. Wrap this around here. Stuff it. Wrap this around there. Stuff it. And you got a cute little look. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. Y'all see me wear these. Yeah, see? Got a little hair under here. You don't even have to wear a wig. You could just put this on top of your, slick your hair back. Slick your hair back. You need to slip, slick your hair back. Another um, another product is Ampro Styling Gel or just any kind of gel. I use Ampro um, because it's dark and it works well on my hair. It actually grows my hair. Um, when I wear my hair slicked back a lot, my hair grows really fast. I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow. I can't wait to get my hair braided. But yes, so, all right. I gave you a few products. You want the flawless. You want some press-on nails. You want to smell good, so get you a fragrance. Get you some lashes, and you are good to go, all right? I mean, don't be walking around here looking bald-eyed bald and, you know, with nubby nails when you don't have to, all right? So, I hope this helps somebody. 
I'm here to help. Hey, I'm here to help. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm just trying to help you out in these COVID-19 streets.